My lust was out of control. And I sat there thinking, he's had an affair. My desires were getting out of hand. Where's Clay right now? Why am I so out of control? Clay and Renee Cross found themselves in a place far from where they had started as high school sweethearts who vowed to stay pure until their wedding night. I've known the Lord since I was 13 years old, and um, you know any, anything that, that went wrong, I know that, that it was because I took my eyes off the Lord. Clay Cross rose to fame as 1995's new contemporary Christian artist of the year. He declared his devotion to Christ in his breakout hit. That was the big break. That song making such a, an impact in so many people's lives. What kind of world opened up to you as a result of that? I, mean, I left my day job. I worked for Federal Express uh, <laughs> for six years. But you got to know the whole time I'm dreaming of going into music and doing that full time and making it, as they say. And it, it, it happened. And I found myself on stages with, 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 with big audiences. And after the concert... A long line of people to get my autograph. Fame, fortune, success. Of course, it's all for the glory of God, right? More times than not, that was out of focus. And what was in focus was, I'm becoming a star. And, and how far will this go? How big can this get? Just getting consumed with that. Those were the changes. And I'm not sure they were so good for me. In the midst of all of it, I would sing a song. And I would realize the truth of that song that was making a difference in people's lives, that God was doing a work through the music. But all the while, I realized, why am I such a joke? I see the nails, I hear the Behind all of this, there's another life being lived. You're, you have a secret life. Sex um, is, it, it is every man's battle, and I'm right in there with that battle. And I have, I have experienced that full on. Did your wife know? She didn't know everything. I mean, she, she, knew, she knew I had a wandering eye, um, but she didn't know the level of my lust and my secret desires, partially fueled by occasional pornography. And it was poisoning me. Did you have porn in the house? I did, and truthfully, that's where I saw it. I wouldn't want it in my suitcase for fears. What if I was in an accident and then someone had to look through my belongings? You actually thought this through? Oh, yes. So I didn't see it on the road. People can't believe that. I had it hidden in my home. Wow. And when Renee and my girls, from time to time, were not around, I would look at it. I would, uh, I would fall to that, and I would, I would justify it, just think to myself, it's really not that big a deal. But looking back, I know it was doing real damage to me. Clay soon realized his career and even his voice were on the line. You know, I'm a singer. I used to think I was a pretty great singer. That year I got sick and I couldn't sing like I used, used to could. I would call Renee from the road and say, this is weird. I'm feeling fine. I'm not sick anymore. I can't hit those notes. I can't hold those notes out like I used to. Well, the weeks went on. The months went on. And I began to freak out. And I was scared. And I fell to my knees. And God began to tell me that not only was my voice out of control, I was out of control. Clay tried to regain control of his voice with the help of a respected expert. Almost immediately, Clay's vocal coach started asking him about his life. Are you a man of God? What are you reading in God's Word? How's your prayer life? How's your relationship with Renee? He nailed me. God nailed me through this man. He prayed with me, and I'm certain that that day in his office was the beginning of my rededication to Christ. I left knowing things have to change. Clay knew those changes would start with a talk with his wife, Renee. He just began to um, weep before me, weep before God. And I'm telling you, he quickly told me that, you know, Renee, I haven't physically committed adultery, but in my mind I, I had. That afternoon was <laughs> an amazing wave of emotions. Just um, What did it do to you? Insecurity flooded my mind. Why 
how could you? And there were those moments of anger. And, um, but I also knew the truth. And in that moment of what has happened to our life and why has this happened to me, I knew where to run. And I ran back to God. You don't get over that overnight. I mean, that's Oh, and she didn't. Yeah. It, it, was, it was a year-long process of us going through this. And, 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 but, man, it, it, it got better. It really did over time as, 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 as we got back to the basics of what we need to do, of getting in God's Word and really beginning to share our life together as opposed to just kind of living separate lives and um, peacefully coexisting. There were days that I listened to the enemy and would call him and ask him questions and nag him, which I quickly realized wasn't going to do much good. But the days I listened to my Lord and prayed for my husband, and when those moments of doubt came in my mind, I prayed for my husband, and this boy would be asleep in the bed, and I would just read that scripture over him as he slept, you know? And there was such peace that came to my spirit by that. It helped me. God just loved me back, and every area of my life just changed. And the things that I once thought were so important just began to look silly. And something as uncool as, as, as reading God's Word began to be real cool to me and, and real, real nourishment. And Renee began to see this, and she just knew man, this is legit. What, what's happening in his life is legit. And there's this peace that I didn't see a few months ago. Did your voice come back? It's not what it was before, but God has still blessed me to be able to go do those concerts and interpret a song in a unique way. And I'm real thankful to him for that. But to me, it's just a constant reminder that I better stay focused on him. Now, Clay and Renee Cross are sharing their story in hopes of helping other couples. I Surrender All is more than the title of their book. Clay says it's how he keeps the upper hand in his struggle with pornography. It still has residence in a small part of me, man, just, just, just the old man that I want to deny and turn from, turn from that, turn from my past, focus all my energies on the future with Christ. I've learned that I'm in great need and I can't take care of it by myself. I can't do this thing by myself. Oh.